there have been a lot of questions asked about this Oscosh M1070 rig that I would have put together. I am not quite done with it. There is some other details that I would like to add, which, you know, will give me a, a form of satisfaction to this build. And I can understand it's a unique build. A lot of people have been asking questions. I've been showing a lot of interest in it. I am going to do a separate video when I'm completely finished with it. But basically what I want to show now is a comparison video in terms of how and what the size looks like. Now, this rig is a TRX-8. It's on a TRX-8 platform, meaning the chassis, the electronics, the wheels, everything is from a TRX-6. But I would have converted it or turned it into um, a TRX-8. Now, when you look at the comparison, now here is one of my TRX-6 that I would have modified. And this TRX-6 is from the, um, the Mercedes-Benz. But I never really liked the body from Traxxas. So I wanted to perform my own um, configuration and my own looks and detail and so forth. So this would have been a Ford um, 1 or 250, I think, that I would have put together on a TRX-6. So if you look at the size comparison, the TRX-8, it will be a bit longer simply because of the extension of the chassis rail together with the um, extra um, wheel at the back. Now here is another comparison of the same uh, TRX-6. So if you look at three of them all together, you can see basically it's the same truck, same size, 110 scale. This one will appear to be a bit higher and a bit longer. So basically in terms of the difference, and here is also a comparison with a cross RC 6x6, that is the HC6, and this is a very, very nice truck, I'm telling you. Guys, this is one of the arsenal that I think that you should have as part of your family, it is irresistible. But in my case, normally, um, I like how, you know, the brands, the manufacturers put together the vehicle, but I always like to put my own special touch so I, get, so I can get satisfaction in terms of, um, you know, keeping my arsenal in a specific way and a specific design. So what do you think? What questions you think you may want to ask about, you know, these rigs that I would have put together? I know a lot of questions been asking about a red differential. I am going to put together a separate video on that because it's a bit technical. My son is the one that would have um, put it together. I am just the guy that does the customization, meaning that I get the body and I put everything together. I have a couple of secrets that I want to share onto this rig, but as soon as it is complete, that also will be on video. Guys, if you have been following my channel, you'll know definitely that I have a couple um, trademarks when coming to putting stuff together. Like I said, I like to give it a little extra touch. I also have a UDR here, which of course, if you check some of the other videos, you'll see some of my trademark in terms of things that I would have done to it. All right. So I just want to leave this comparison in terms of um, size. It's all um, 110. Actually, this uh, it's, it's a 112 in comparison with the big truck. Now, some will say that this one is also a 112 but it's on a 110 chassis so i don't know the argument is outside there you will be the judge or you can go and do your investigation yes so this is what it looks like um i'm just explaining this a little bit from the lab i hope you guys are enjoying it keep tuning into this channel you know like we say don't move from that channel subscribe and you'll be getting more videos. Don't forget to look at the other videos on the channel because I would have been featuring all of my rigs. So guys, have, have fun until the next video.